Today's training tip is on how to effectively stretch your hip flexors, which is a common stretching area for athletes. Uh, today's training tip is on how to effectively stretch your hip flexors. One of the keys to stretching and strength training is learning how to stop slippage from happening in your spine and or your hips as you do extremity movements. So in this hip flexor stretch, one of the things we want to stop from happening is allowing the back to extend or slippage into extension or disallowing rotational slippage. So both of those will reduce the effectiveness of a hip flexor stretch. In fact, you end up stretching your spine more than your hip flexor. So if we're going to do a non-resisted hip flexor stretch, we want to make sure we get some active contraction on the front of the uh, trunk. And as we do so, we want to be just aware that we're not letting slippage happen in the spine or the hips. With the body banded, one of the unique things about the body band in the stretch is we're going to put force on both hands, which checks rotation, and we're going to also put force on the, on the anterior trunk, which also stops that back from wanting to arch or extend. So as I do the lunge stretch on the body banded, I'm going to have increasing tension on the front of the trunk, and also by pr placing pressure through both hand hands, I cut that rotational component down. So this allows for a very effective stretch as I come forward. So again, when you're doing hip flexor stretching, just be aware that you're not allowing slippage to happen in the spine and or the hips, which cuts the effectiveness of that hip flexor stretch. Thanks for letting me share, and I look forward to uh, sharing other tips with you on the next